functions. Function is one of the most important part of calculus as it deals with dependency of one physical quantity with respect to another. For example, if I say volume of a sphere is V is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, here volume is a function of radius. How is a function of radius? As radius increases, volume of the sphere also increases. So, volume is related with radius. So, we can write it as V is equal to f of r. So, volume is a function of radius. We can also give number of example for functions. If I say f of x is equal to x square. So, here x will act as input and y will act as a output. If we give any input, it gives it must give some output. For example, if x is equal to 1, then y will be equal to 1 square, which is 1. If I give x equal to 2, y will be 2 square, which is equal to 4. Likewise, we can we can give so many example of functions. In physics, we can also give func function example as displacement. Displacement is what? Shortest distance covered by a particle is a function of time. In chemistry also we can give example of function. Reaction is a function of time. Like that we can give so many example for functions which is very very important part of calculus. Almost every every chapter or every part of calculus is somehow related with functions. So, mathematically we can define function as function is basically a set of rule or correspondence through which each element of set x is related to each element of set y with unique image means what every element of set x should have unique image means what we can say if for every input we should have unique output we can have more than one in for more than one input we can have same output but for one input we cannot have two output so this is the basic definition of function mathematically we can say f is a function from x tends to y is said to be a function if each element in the set x has its image in y but it may have some element in set y which is not having any pre image in set x so that is that that is the definitions of functions we can say and one more thing we can say for every input means for every element in set x we should have one image in y but for one element we cannot have two images in y for example through graph we can understand for first first example x1 x2 x3 are the element of set x and y1 y2 y3 are the element of set y x1 is having two output or two images y1 as well as y2 so that's not fits into definition of functions so obviously it is not a function so, so that is the reason for not having this as a functions second as i said for each element must have some images but x2 is not having any image in set y so this is also not a function examples so it is not a function third one we can see clearly we can see each element of set x x1 having image in y1 x2 is having image in y2 and x3 are having image in y3 so definitely this is a functions and third one as we say for two input we can have same output so this this is definitely a functions but there may be some element which is left out in set y which is not having pre image in set x so this is also a, of course example although y2 is not having pre image in set x so this is how we can define functions